Hello and welcome to youtube.com forward slash Gaming. This is game number two of the third place match in the Vokta Gaming's UK Open number one. Featuring, of course, our Orange Terran. Already one game up after some really safe play on Antigua Shipyard. His name is MF Sion. And opposing him is our Green Protoss now. Handily, they have changed colours just to make my life that bit easier. He tried something cheesy. He tried a very uh, a strangely timed four gate, I'll say. Not the uh, not the Korean four gate timing. Will he do something a bit more defensive, a bit more uh, macro this game? We'll soon find out. His name is Hakuna Matata. So that was a really fun first game, but it was over quick. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit longer. Again, nice to see the players having a bit of chat, having a bit of fun. Uh, about North American Zerg, also called Hakuna Matata. Uh, Lion King is super popular in both the UK and North America. Sion, I imagine, will likely go one racks expand again. I mean, he did it in the last game, and it was perfectly safe. This time, not going to wall off. Uh, interesting. Just going to build the barracks back towards the uh, towards the command center. No real reason for that. I mean, I don't think there's much of a reason to do the wall off against Protoss. It's even if if they four gate and you don't expand and they come and attack it, they just get to kill supply depots and the like for free. So building it at the back is uh, pretty much safe, but uh, he already built the supply depot at the front. Hakuna Matata hoping to switch to Masters in, uh, sorry, hoping to switch to North America to get into Masters easy. Unfortunately, not gonna happen. Assimilator goes down at the normal timing, gateways also down. Uh, nice little scout here from Hakuna Matata, does see the barracks, so nothing different. This SCV just gonna sit here for a little while. Really, uh, I just want to see a, a fast expand out of Sion, and here it comes. He's already got the minerals just about to hit, so that's a nice, nicely timed out. We have a cybernetics core making again, building up energy here, and that's a lot of energy. When you see that, you tend to expect something quite cheesy. You expect the cyber core. Uh, to be chrono boosted until warp gate is done, and that's a strange thing to see. I expected something a little bit different from uh, Hakuna. I expected something more macro based off of two base most likely. Sion is the better player, there is no doubting that whatsoever. Uh, but despite that I imagine like Protoss two base is very very strong so it's more the uh, the route I expect him to take. Now dropping a pylon down on the low ground which suggests to me he's either going to hide something here or he intends to expand. Even then, still a strange place, especially on Cloud Kingdom, as if you want to expand, you can place a pylon on here so you can warp in down here and still be perfectly fine. Uh, once again, he skips the first Zealot and goes straight into Stalker production. And a bunker's going to go down from Sion, so again, Sion is going to be safe from any kind of early pressure. Here comes the expand from Hakuna Matata. And uh, Warp Gate is on its way. It's not being constantly chronoed, so I think this is just a mistake from him to keep all this chrono energy when he could be making probes in preparation for this expand. Back in the main base, we see double gas now for Sion. Two racks is built, likely going to add tech labs very, very shortly. There we go. Oh, reactor. So going to be uh, quite marine heavy. I expected to see a at least one tech lab before the reactor, if not just a double tech lab, to get fast upgrades out. Interesting. I want to see what way he goes with this. Especially with that double gas, he's going to want to get something out. Could be saving up for a factory. Been a while since I played Terran and uh, definitely need to get into the TVP mindset again. Obviously playing against them at Golden Plat level, all, all I know is you need Psy Storm and then you win. So two more gates going down from Hakuna along with the Robo. Perfectly normal stuff. Three gate Robo with the expand off of uh, one gate. It's Pretty much the expand I've been doing, the uh, the build I've been doing. And again, Sion's going to double bunker. Super safe. The tech lab is done. Stim is on the way. We have an engineering bay down for uh, for upgrades. And the factory's being added. Will he get two more gas or will he stay on the gas he's at now? He's keeping his gas or letting it get fairly high. Uh, does need a supply depot. He's at 37 of 38. Now supply blocked. <laughs> that one stalker going in the front and... Uh, just trying to scare Sion a little bit. Sion is right now definitely supply blocked. 
Uh, so it's going to be a little while for him, but plus one attack is on the way, steam is on the way. Hakuna adds the next two gas, just check, there we go, 34 probes to 28, but with the two mules, definitely pretty much even. We have a robo facility out, we don't have anything making yet, he wants to go very, very quickly into Colossus production, skipping, uh, skipping Immortals. Skipping the Observer, which I do not agree with. I really think you should get that first Observer out. <coughs> Excuse me, as I lose my voice. But the first Colossus is on the way. Unfortunately for him, the Starport is about to be done. We're getting a reactor on the factory, which I assume will plop that Starport down on top. And Sion is not one to be caught off, by, off guard by Colossus. He will definitely uh, either scan to check if he has not already seen it. Just going to make sure. No, he hasn't seen it yet. There is good placement. If a scan comes down here to try and see tech, he will not see that. He will see the robo building, but he can assume, or he could assume rather, that it is immortals. And we have three more gateways going down outside. So that takes us to six gate robo uh, Colossus production. Not entirely sure that can be supported off two base. We shall have to see. Generally, you see five gate robo being supported off of two base. But of course, he may not want to support it long term. He may just want to build up as much as he can for a timing attack. Either when Sion tries to take a third or just at any point Hakuna Matata feels that he is powerful enough. Double medevacs right now coming out for Sion which is the uh, the wise thing with this bio army. Salvages his bunkers for the minerals and sends a, a group of marines out here I think looking for forward pylons. Here comes the third for Sion. Now would be a time he's weak but Hakuna Matata literally does not have enough units yet to go and attack. Right now he is at only one Stalker and two Colossus and a Sentry versus 14 Marines and five Marauders. That does not end well for him. Extended Thermal Lance on the way. Now if he can pick off a few of these units that's great but he will lose this Sentry. Yep that Sentry is going to fall. Sentry falls so that's not great. Sion comes in with a few more units. This is a strong attack by Hakuna Matata though. He will lose this Colossus. And that's really bad. Losing a Colossus is going to set him behind so much. Extended Thermal Lance was not done. He did not want to engage at that point. Finally, Stalkers come out to force these Marines back. And he saves this Colossus from taking any health damage. Only taking shield damage so far, which it can recover from. But the fact is, this delays Hakuna Matata's attack. It weakens it. It will be... De uh, he wanted to hit before combat shield was done. As Extended Thermal Arts finished, he should have been able to attack with three Colossus and a ton of Stalkers with that sentry as well. Sion, uh, Sion shocked by the two base Colossus. He now has the third established. He can choose to make it a planetary or an orbital command. He's putting up three bunkers at home and look at this. Two Vikings out already going into even heavier Viking production, just wanting to kill those Colossus. Once those Colossus are dead, he is super safe. This base is going to be forced to lift off, but he can land it and morph it to an orbital if he so wishes, and use it for mules and scans. Now Hakuna attacks in. Two Colossus here, a ton of Stalkers, but they will start to go down. Nice repairs here on the bunkers. We'll keep them alive and doing damage. That sentry dies again, and Hakuna Matata is in trouble. If he could have perhaps force-fielded behind these bunkers, if he just had that second sentry still alive, he may, he may have taken this game. Uh, the factory has actually landed here for no discernible reason. It's not producing anything. I think Sion just, uh, just wanted to land it. I think Sion is safe. This attack did nothing. There's no blink on the way. He can take the two Colossus up into the main here and do some uh, economic damage. He is going to attack SCVs here. But the fact is he could just send his Vikings in and then the Colossus have to retreat. Three Colossus are done now, and he is doing damage here. I uh, would have liked to have seen a faster reaction there, as that one Colossus takes some health damage. A faster reaction from Sion could have done him the world of good there. Saved a few SCVs. As it is, only eight workers killed. Nowhere near enough, considering he now has three orbitals. So far ahead at this point. Look at this, 55 SCVs with four meals to just 45 probes. So as long as Sion holds this, he is fine. He is in a great position. And right now, all that Hakuna Matata is really doing is containing him. Again, going to try and walk up here. Oh, that would be nice, using the Palum for Vision to warp in. Perhaps some Stalkers force the army away from the front. But again, the Colossus is forced back, and that one is taking even more damage. That is not ideal. 
More Stalkers coming in, and perhaps with the addition of this fourth Colossus, just going to push in, but plus, uh, plus two attack is already on the way for Sion. Plus one armor about to finish, which is going to make him even safer against this. I really don't see a problem here at all. So this final engagement comes in. We do have two forces going down, slowing the repair on the bunkers, so they are taken down. This is close, this is close, but the Colossus will fall to the Vikings. Here they go. Down to three Vikings, but only one Colossus left. The Zealots doing damage. There are a ton of Stalkers left. Could this be it? Could Hakuna Matata level this game? Oh, this is so close. But as it is, once that Colossus dies, he just does not have the DPS in this army. Colossus stays alive, though. And the longer it's alive, the better he can do. Plus one armor is finished, but Sion just doesn't have the units now. Switch to the unit count station. Only eight marines and four marauders to 18 stalkers and one colossus. Could this be enough? This is Sion's last hold. Hakuna Matata, wow, pushing him right into the base, taking out the natural orbital. This is great stuff, but that's all he's managed to do. He has not killed him, and the colossus is dead. All the colossi are dead. All he has now are stalkers. No area of effect attack whatsoever. And against a bio force, that really isn't enough. The question is, can he do something with this? Uh, perhaps go and expand behind it. He's now even on workers, so an expand behind this could really, uh, could really do a lot for him. I think r just use that as a contain. Take one of these probes. He has the minerals. Go expand to here. Uh, not to here, obviously, because of the factory does not have the units to go home and deal with that. Uh, just hold this contain. Don't let him take the third base. Don't let him take the second base. Right now, great position for Hakuna Matata. He did just enough to give him control of the game. Now, plus one attack will finish. He has two engineering bases, but he's right now only researching one thing from it. Does not have the money, or rather the gas. He has plenty of minerals, but no gas. Only able to take two refineries at this point. Now comes the push from Sion. Can he break the contain? If he does, he's once again won. Because Hakuna Matata has not expanded. Hakuna Matata is going for a kill move. And I'm not sure that was wise. Decent force builds, but nothing too great. And without the Colossus here, it is just too much. Hakuna Matata is broken here. I foresee no way back for him. Sion, uh, Sion will go ahead and take that third base. In fact, there we go. Hakuna Matata, GG. Sion is the winner. He is the first ever third place finalist for the Vokta Gaming UK Open. Congratulations to Sion. Commiserations to Hakuna Matata. Great games from these two guys, and it was wonderful for us to watch. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. This is going on forever just because they're chatting. The game is over. Hakuna Matata has GG'd. And uh, that is it for this series. Best of three goes 2-0 to MFC on. And I will be back shortly to bring you the finals where we find out who takes first and who takes second. The truly important games. I've been your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again shortly.